pilots getting ready to take to the skies in Atlantic City. Blue skies that you see there making for the perfect weather for the Atlantic City Air Show. I want to see reporter Brandon Goldner joining us live as practice and preparations for the show get underway. And some planes have been flying behind you already here this afternoon, Brandon. Good afternoon. I wish we were uh, earlier in our new newscast because we had several of those fighter jets. We had a uh, KC-135 plane flying through. Really incredible to see. We also saw some U.S. Army Golden Knights landing. and It was really amazing to see, especially as they walk past the kids who are out here right now, amazed. This is the training day so far. We have some people who are getting kind of a, a preview of what's going to be happening tomorrow. It's going to be a lot more crowded out here. This is really the main area by the uh, boardwalk hall. This is really an incredible sight to see some of these planes right now, and it's only going to be even better once everyone gets all in tip top shape. I'm trying to uh, vamp as we're going because I'm hoping another plane will come through, but we'll be seeing planes throughout the day as they continue to rehearse and get ready for what's really supposed to be an incredible show tomorrow as the AC Air Show returns to Atlantic City. We'll have some more of the sights and sounds from this prep day coming up at 4 and 5 o'clock. Live in Atlantic City, Brandon Goldner, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Brandon. Sometimes the prep day just as exciting as the actual air show itself. So looking forward to seeing you later this afternoon. Thank you for that. And during the air show, there will be additional rail service on NJ Transit. Tomorrow, a train will leave Philadelphia just before 8.30 a.m., going to Atlantic City around 10 a.m. And tickets will also be half off through the NJ Transit app. You just have to use the promo code AIRSHOW. It's good for two one-way tickets and can only be used on the day of the air show. We'll have more on the event tomorrow here on CBS 3.